hat and every now and then take a sip of the coffee. I so I had my, I was always just like, you know, like tiny phone on my tiny phone. This comes on in and just like, yeah, I'm here, I'm still going. I do say, and I love to say at the end, keep going. Like we just don't give up. I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to you when I say that, don't give up. Good morning. Guess what? Someone got a new iPhone. I am super, super excited. It has this cinematic feature. It's a 15. I had, I went from 11 to a 15. And this looks to me very much like my big camera. What do you think? You got this, keep it up. Okay, I'm over here making my coffee. Okay, this is what we get when we leave it in there and then someone takes it out, Dylan. Instead of throwing it away, he puts it there because he's irritated this was left in. But anyway, I'm gonna do a Phil's today. These Phil's coffees are pretty good. Coffee is being made and what I've been doing is I'll make my oats and put them in this jar. So we're gonna do oats. Then RJ made like a really cool, I think it's a sugar, milk, and chia seeds that we add to it, she says it's delicious. So that's gonna be breakfast this morning. I wanna talk a moment about this beautiful bowl. And this is from the Muddy Hive, Diane. Oh my goodness, just eating breakfast out of a special bowl feels nice. Welcome to the Wild West. I'm Tracy. All the thoughts going. This cereal, the that was really good. I didn't want to eat it in front of you, but I will drink my coffee in front of you. I want to just chat with you like I'm chatting with, you know, one of my best friends. Just Let's just chat and every now and then take a sip of the coffee. Today, I am going to talk about what it is like or what it has been like to be on YouTube as a creator for a almost a year now. Maybe by the time this gets up, it will be a year. I started this channel June 5th of 2023, and it was kind of crazy the way it started. I mean, I wanted to do it from the moment I quit my job. January 2023 was like my first day of not working and going to an office every day. And I wanted to do a YouTube channel at that point, but I was paralyzed. I was like, how do you start? How do you begin? I know nothing about this. I really want to do it because I love making videos. Been doing it my whole life. I say my whole life, but since I've been a preteen, I've been making videos with my parents, Betamax. I would use theirs. They would let me use their Betamax video camera, camcorder. And I would just be behind the camera quite often directing my neighborhood kids what they should do and stuff and interviewing them and interviewing my parents and anybody I could just get film, I would be filming. And I just have always loved it. And now these days, they've made it so easy. Like I would remember when I had the kids and I was trying to edit and I bought this editing machine that I had no idea how to use. And I always wanted to put music to my videos and I didn't know how to do it. And then this came along and pretty much anyone can make a video if you have even a, just a cell phone, because that's what I've been using. So the last five videos that I made, I decided to get... To get a little bit crazy. And use my Canon 70D, my big camera that I've had for years that I used to, to make videos on, but also I used to take lots of beautiful pictures with. And I decided to use that and our daughter, RJ said, mom, just at least use it for five times and see how you feel. And it was challenging. And you will notice on my last five videos, it's like shaky and I pan too fast. And I know that with practice that could get better, but with these smartphones, you don't even have to do any thinking. Right now, this iPhone 15 that I just got has a cinematic lens. It's amazing. It looks a lot like my 70D with the depth of field behind you kind of blurry and it's got a really crisp quality. So, and it's easy to carry around. It has a long battery life. So why not? So I may switch back to the phone. That is where I started. I learned a lesson not quickly. 10 of my videos have music on it that have the copyright and that is horrible. And if I ever get monetized, those videos won't make any money, including the very first.
first few videos I've made because I was using a video app for all my video edits called Video Leap. And it comes with music that is supposedly royalty free. I think it's called royalty free. And so I thought, heck, I can use this on YouTube and it's royalty free, but it's not. I learned my lesson after 10 videos because it took me 10 videos to notice that word copyright. Most of my first several videos were filmed on my iPhone 11, edited on my iPhone, and I used Video Leap to do it. And doing all the stuff and it was doable. It was frustrating, but it was doable and I was doing it you use your iPad for editing? And that was a challenge too. The iPad was a challenge to edit on because the memory on this one is very little and I kept running out of space. And then I realized I could just pull my videos and my um, pictures from iCloud and that didn't take up the space. So I figured that out and I've been doing all my editing on the iPad. Here I am back with the Canon 70D. Is it my strap? Cute, I love my strap does feel nice in my hands. I really love the way it feels. However, it is pretty big and clunky to take around and these iPhones are just so, they, look at the ability. I think it looks really good. I, I'm very happy with it. Now my mics <clears throat> that I was using, I was using these Rode mics, which are pretty cool, on my other phone, my 11, and it had an adapter. I call them a dingle donger. Uh, adapter, but this adapter doesn't go in the 15, so I need a new one to, in order to use my mic, so I hope the sound quality is okay on this video. I just mostly wanted to spend today talking to you about what I have learned in this year of making videos. Uh, we'll talk about how I figured out what kind of music to use and where I'm pulling my music from now. I am going to get ready for the day, which is kind of sometimes unusual. I just somehow like to wake up, roll out of bed, and start talking to you about stuff. But today, I think it'd be nice if I brush my teeth, put on some deodorant, a bra, I don't know if I'll wash my hair or comb it, but I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about how and what and all the things about what I've learned being a YouTuber. I'm back. I have clean hair, I have clean teeth, I have deodorant, I'm put together, kind of. Still got wet hair, but that's all right. I'm not gonna dry it. And I changed sceneries. Is this better? get to see a different area of the house as opposed to the kitchen. So I took a shower, then I washed the dishes and the cat dishes, and then I came out here and I'm talking to you. So let's finish talking about what it's like to have a YouTube channel. And I believe I somewhat left off on the music. What do I use for music? Now YouTube has a music library and I did try to check it out, but honestly, I didn't spend much time there because I got a lot frustrated. Then I watched videos on what kind of music can I use? Cause people obviously were using music in their videos and where were they getting it? And why aren't they getting dinged? There's gotta be a place. So I started watching videos, thank goodness for creators who share about things. And I was led to Epidemic Sound. And so I got that app for music. There's, I'm gonna say thousands of songs to choose from. Some have lyrics, some are just, you know, instrumental love that for music and now i can put whatever song from that app into my video and it's not going to give me a copyright ding and i'm going to be perfectly great because it's approved somehow i don't know how but somehow it's approved and we can use it so i learned a little lesson but that's okay because if we don't do things wrong we don't learn lessons I've done plenty wrong in this year that I've been creating and I've learned a lot of lessons. And I think that's the beauty is I, you know, I have researched along the way. I've watched other creators share their knowledge and I've, I've gleaned from it. However, um, I just jumped in the deep end. Like, you know, it was June and I woke up one morning and I said, I'm gonna make a YouTube video today. And I just, and then, it, and then from there on, it was like, okay, the clock has started. 
I am going to do this for a full year and see what happens. So now in a full year, I have gained just over 400 subscribers. Yay! I have made over 222 videos. That averages about four videos a week, including my shorts. I have been extremely consistent in my posting. It was a lot. And in the beginning, I babbled even more than I'm babbling now. Like I would go off on like about 20 different subjects. I'd just talk, I'd just talk about like, whatever you need to like hone it in like people are getting bored right my mind my mind just is always like bing bing bong bong always over like a ping bong ball ping pong pinball like a pinball machine in here like that's what it feels like and so it's hard for me to stay on track and focus and talk about one thing so that has been challenging and also to write a script or notes like i tried to do the other day i wrote notes and then i didn't even read the notes, but I still felt better knowing there were notes because it kind of gave me a guideline. This is me going off subject as usual. The music, the music was great. I love using that music. And for thumbnails, if you don't know what a thumbnail is, if you're like, just, you're not a creator and you don't know what a thumbnail is, it's the picture you see that it, that is the video cover, like the cover of a magazine, let's say. Um, and nowadays on YouTube, if you click on a video, it just automatically starts going. Uh, uh, so sometimes it's hard to just see that thumbnail as they call it, but I use an app called Canva for my thumbnails. And I have found a particular style in which I love, which is not popular. And I know it's not gaining new viewers because it's not pulling people in. I'm not being like a radical, like, Hey, come watch my videos. You know, uh, it's just sort of like, like a collage, if you will, of things in my video that I like. And I'm just going to keep doing me cause I am me and I'm nobody else. And I believe that my following will be a slow go as it's been. And I like to picture myself as that little tortoise just trucking along this tortoise in the race with the hair which is actually is that a rabbit a hair is a rabbit and the rabbits are typically faster but then they burn themselves out because they're going so fast and then all of a sudden tortoise comes on in and just like yeah i'm here i'm still going so i do say and i love to say at the end keep going like we just don't give up i'm talking to myself and i'm talking to you when i say that don't give up because you never know what will happen if you give up. It's like with anything, like I started walking a couple months ago. If I stop walking for exercise and heart rate, I'm trying to get my heart rate up so that it'll go down, if that makes sense. Like you get it, you raise it up when you're exercising so it can condition itself, this muscle in here, to then have a lower resting heart rate. That's what I've been working on. If I stop walking, I will never know what could have been. There's so many things I have started, including yoga practices, art journaling practices, you name it, I have started it and not finished and then beat myself up like, oh, just stuck with it. So I'm proud of myself for going a whole year here on YouTube and not quitting and not giving up and I just keep going and I make a ton of mistakes and I put a lot of crappy stuff out there, but I am doing it. And that is why I'm proud of myself. And I'm not competing with you or you or anyone else. I'm competing with myself. So I can look at my own analytics. YouTube has something called analytics that you can go to in the YouTube studio and you can see how well your videos are doing and, and who's watching and where they're watching from and what is bringing people in. So I could look and right now, excuse me, if I look and I already know this, my biggest viewed, like mind blowing to me, I think it's over 10,000 views, which for me is huge because normally I have like 45 views at the most, sometimes 100, 200, 400, but never in the thousands, like I'm not even and so this one video has over 10,000 views and it's how to season your cast iron pan. And that was a full on mistake that I even made it. My friend had a rusty old pan. She didn't know how to fix it. I'm like, give me your pan. I will bring it back to its 
natural, beautiful beauty and I will make a video about it. And then all of a sudden people were like, man, I wanna know how to season a cast iron pan. So it has a lot of views, but it didn't pull in a lot of subscribers because they were legit only there to learn how to season a cast iron pan. Great, wonderful for them. I thought, should I start doing how to's, how to do this, this and that. But the thing is, I don't know how to do a lot of things. So doing how to's would be me learning and then showing you and it would be weird. So I don't wanna be a how to video person, YouTuber. I wanna be a lifestyle, like a vlogger. I just like to share my life and places I've been and thrifting and, and traveling and making new recipes and hanging out with my family. I myself love to watch regular, I'm gonna say ordinary people like myself that like to just share life. The biggest surprise that I had not even thought about was the community in YouTube. As I have been creating, I have made other friends who are creators. There are just beautiful souls out there that I have met who are other creators who are encouraging, who are supportive, who watch all my videos, who comment on every single video. And I also do the same for them because I am a give and take. Like if you give, and I'm taking, I want to give back. So it's a, it's a give and take and I love that. Is this it? Is this gonna be all the video? Cause it seems quite boring, but I have expressed to you what it's been like to be a YouTuber, I believe, and what I've learned and what I use. And I don't wanna quit. Like, like June 5th will be the one year mark. And I said I would go one year. Congratulations, I know I'm gonna get there cause today's towards the end of May when I'm making this. I'm just gonna keep going. That's how I've learned YouTube. I basically just dove into the deep end and just said, let's see if I can, let's see if I can survive. And I have. And I know that in time, if I just keep going, if I keep going, and if I keep going, I will build a community, the community I want. And it's gonna be beautiful. And so I'm gonna keep going. I'm here for the long haul. I am not giving up. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep making videos about this, that, and the other. And I'm gonna do what I love. And I'm feeling blessed because I have been able to stay off working a job where I'm driving to the same place for like 31 years and don't know anything different. And quite honestly, the first year I was super depressed and like, why did I quit my job and what am I doing? And I'm still kind of wondering that. Until next time, Peace, love, and don't give up. Keep going.